Hey everyone and welcome to another Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady and today we're going to show you how to tie the PMX, also known as the Parachute Madam X. All right, so we have our Firehole 718 hook, the brand new hook from Firehole. If you haven't heard of them, they're definitely worth checking out. This is a kind of their 200R style hook, their profile, just with a nice wide gap on it. So the thread on this fly, we're going to use a Uni, the 6 aught plaque. And then we're going to use some bleached elk hair. This is going to be both the tail of the fly as well as the wing. The main body of our fly, the abdomen, is going to be a uni floss. This is the gold brown color. Then we're going to add a little bit of peacock curl for our thorax. And then we're going to create uh, some legs using these barred rubber legs from Hairline. And then we're going to use a parachute post on this using some McFlylon PolyPro followed up with a little bit of Keo ginger, barred ginger uh, hackle to finish it off. So I'm just gonna work on back here, get my thread down to where I wanna tie in my tail there. And we're just gonna go slightly down the bend before tying in our tail. So I'm using a little bit of bleached elk hair for that. And we got some stacked in our stacker here. Just a, a real sparse amount, a fairly sparse amount. You can see there I and make it kind of nice and stubby, just sticking off of the back, probably about that length. You could use the length of your hook point to kind of stay consistent and measure things out. We're just going to transfer that measurement. Go ahead and fix it on the hook here. A couple of nice locking wraps. And make sure your length is good. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to utilize this elk hair as an underbody for buoyancy. So I'm going to bring it up. Right about to where my abdomen is going to end and snip it off there for kind of fixating it to the hook. And I always kind of do it lightly when I'm tying it on because then I can spin it somewhat around the hook and, and cover the whole shank before biting down through it and locking it in here. Once we have that all set, and cleaned up there. All right, so we took our thread back up to the front. We're gonna tie in our floss material. I'm using a little bit of the golden brown color today. Traditionally, this fly is done a lot in reds and greens. It's a great attractive pattern in many different color variations. So I'm gonna half hitch out here and start to wrap that body material back. And you can see it's kind of a fibery material as you, as you lay it down, it will lay flat. That's what you want out of it. You kind of have to help it along a little bit as you go. Just unraveling it so that it is nice and flat. But touching wraps, going back, just avoiding that hook point as we go. And once we're all the way back at our tail here, we will return to the front where we're gonna tie it off. And just kind of being conscious of the taper you're building up as you go around. You a slight taper on this fly. It's a pretty thin profile body, and it's gonna be a fairly bulbous thorax when we're all done here, so. Just keep that in mind as you're wrapping. Just like so, before we can capture it off here and start to work on our wing, our legs, and our thorax. Clip that, that material now that we got it locked down nicely. And we can prep our wing. So the wing is also gonna be this bleached elk hair. But we're gonna grab a fair amount this time. Maybe three times what we used on the tail. And 
you can always kind of utilize your hook gape there to measure out how much you have and, and keep that consistent as well. Stack these nicely. Get all our tips aligned. So we got a nice bundle there, right about the thickness of the hook gape. And now we're just gonna measure out the length that we want on that. So fairly healthy wing right about to where our tail goes. Measure that back and then we can kind of clip out our excess here to make it a little bit easier to manage, tying in. Do a couple of loose wraps real quick and just make sure our wing's where we want it there. It's pretty good before we cinch that down nice and snug and lock it in. So from here we can kind of work a little bit of a thorax taper back, a ramp towards the elk hair, clip out some of these longer fibers so I can wrap them down. Swing similar to a stimula stimulator where you don't want it to flare out too much, you want to land back, but nice big wing at the same time. So I'm just going to build up a little bit of a ramp before we come in to tie in some more materials. Going to try and fit a lot of materials up into the front end of this fly. Alright, so I have a couple of peacock curl fibers prepped here. I clipped off the tips and we're going to tie them in right on my side of the hook shank here, just keeping them out of the way for now. That'll be the main uh, I guess the main body of the thorax underneath. So once we have those set, then we can come in and we're going to add our parachute post now. You can do this first if you prefer. I just like having it out of the way as I'm working the body and the wing and everything. So I tend to do it at this stage of the fly. I use a little of this McFlylon Poly Pro. And we'll just capture it down right in the middle of where our thorax is, is laid out here so far. And we can pull it up and kind of wrap in front of it, keep it in place. Do the same thing behind. I'm going to use both ends of this parachute post today. Make it nice and thick. I'll care fibers out of the way. James has a neat trick if you watch in the riffle where he captures all this material down using some lead wire. I just tend to be a little bit lazy for that, I guess. Struggle through it. So once we feel like we have that kind of locked in where we want it, then we can start to work our way up the post here. So we'll do a wrap around the base and then work our way up here. Five or five to seven times I would say and then we'll come back down and repeat that. I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go around it and then we're going to go back up the post one more time. Create a nice base for our hackle delay. There we are. So from there, the next thing I'm going to add is the legs. And the legs of this fly are going to be a little bit of the round rubber legs from Hairline. This is an orange color today. And we're just going to tie those in on the either side of the hook shank right up behind the thorax, or sorry, behind the parachute post on our thorax. So we'll tie this side down and then I'll come and do it on that far side as well. And this side closest to you guys. So just a couple of quick wraps there. Let's keep that down. And then we can come in and tie in the hackle. So 
for the hackle, I'm going to start. We'll do one wrap around the post again because I'm going to wrap it to the post. Just get a nice hackle fiber there. And prep it out by clipping out some of these barbels. There you are. So I clipped out just a little bit of a, a tag in there to tie it in, a tie in point. And I'm going to just come around, fixate that to my parachute post here. Again, I always like it on kind of the bottom side and then I'll, I'll wrap it up here. So let's try and do that nicely. There we are. We'll wrap that down, capture it here. Keep everything else out of the way. And what that does by tying it on the bottom allows you to go up the parachute post once with the hackle as you wrap it around and then turn around and, and come back down as well. So we'll clip out that tag end like I just did there. And then come back here. And now I'm gonna do one wrap right in front of that post. And I'm gonna half hitch again right next to it there. So a lot of materials on this fly, all kind of cumbersome getting in the way, but it's definitely worth messing with because it's just a really cool attractor fly once you're all said and done with it here. So I'm going to see if I can work my hackle up so that it'll kind of stay out of the way as I bring my peacock curl around. One of the trickier parts of this fly is to wrap this peacock curl without capturing all of the materials that you got hanging around here. So we're just going to wrap it up. I'm going to utilize this material to kind of get my legs to display out a little bit there. And hold them in place. And then we'll jump in front of them. Go around the post here. At this point, you want to kind of drop your thread and leave it where it is. We're going to jump in front of it and wrap a couple of times to the hook eye. And then we're going to come right back to where our thread's at. Hold that hurl up against the post here. And then we're gonna capture that out. So a couple wraps to keep that down where it is. Oop. Again. We can clip out our excess here. We'll just check our work, make sure we're covering up our thorax nicely there. That looks pretty good. So staying on the parachute post here, because we're going to whip finish right underneath it just to keep it nice and clean. I'm going to grab my hackle. And like I said, we're going to do one wrap right at the base of the post, keeping the hair and everything here out of the way. Let's pull this stuff out. There we go. Right at the base of the parachute, we're gonna do a couple up the parachute two or three times, and then go right back down to where we can capture it underneath. try to avoid capturing some fibers, but it is, at least when I'm doing it, somewhat inevitable. There we are. Once you're confident you have it snugged down there, clip out your excess. Trim out some of those hackle fibers that didn't want to play nice. And then we're going to whip finish. I'm going to trim my post down just a little bit, not quite to where I'm going to leave it yet. Well, we're going to whip finish here.
right underneath that hackle without trapping any legs. There we are. Slide that down, clip out that excess. Clip out our thread anyway. Kind of get all our material to lay how we would like it here. So I'm gonna measure out my legs. I just like to turn it upside down. Kind of pull them all down without stretching them. Clip them out nice and even. Kind of work them out where you want them and then come up to the parachute post. And we're gonna trim that guy down just a little bit. I like to trim it right about where my wing is. It's kind of splaying up to, so not too far down from there. And then finally, we're gonna add some zappy gap to help secure that whip finish that's uh, secured to our parachute post. So really awesome fly, great attractor pattern. Awesome to use in a hopper dropper style rig. Uh, it's gonna imitate your, your stone flies, some hoppers, you know, and just any other kind of wild terrestrial you might have that fish are gonna key in on. But there is a finished PMX. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there. My heart over my mind, I'm not over.